Rhode Island. What a fucking irrelevant place. Like, at least Connecticut serves a purpose, okay? Like, we keep everyone from New Jersey out. They can't, they can't make it through, they don't know how to pump gas. It's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. Yeah, being from Connecticut, it comes with a lot of stereotypes. A lot of people think I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Um, nothing could be further from the truth, okay? It was a string of pearls. <laughs> and they were around my neck. Uh, Connecticut is uh, famous for being like socially uh, liberal but fiscally conservative because uh, we don't like to pay taxes. But we do want the nanny to get an abortion. So, yeah. That's step one in marriage counseling. <laughs> yeah, it's important. Um, I know that can be like a touchy subject for some people. I promise no more nanny jokes. It's all abortion jokes, so, you know, get on board. Or don't, it's your choice. That's what I believe. I'm a, I'm a feminist, I'm a big feminist. Um, I have one sister, and my parents uh, put a lot of effort to make sure that we grew up to be these, like, strong, independent women. Um, so my parents don't have any grandchildren. <laughs> And that's on them. <laughs> like, they could have raised a whore. And they did. But we're Democrats. So. Yeah, I have the uh, copper IUD, uh, which is just a tiny codinger. Just stays in your uterus all the time. It really is a back alley abortion for women on the go. <laughs> the go of birth control, if you will. <laughs> it works because uh, copper prevents fertilization, uh, which, fun fact, that's why no one's knocked up the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> no. No. My parents, uh, they really want grandchildren because like, all of their friends have grandchildren. So I had to set them aside and say, you know, mom, dad, all your friends jump up a bridge. <laughs> I still won't have a baby. <laughs> but my mom is just like relentless. Like, I don't think she understands the meaning of the word no. I don't know what fraternity she was in. <laughs> it does look like half her pledge class is here tonight, though. <laughs> women into having kids. I, I, I think we do it, and I don't think we should do it. Um, however, kind of think my sister should just take one for the team. <laughs> uh, she disagrees, you know. So we both just go to bed and pray the other one's birth control fails. <laughs> my parents pray for the same thing. <laughs> Nothing's happened, so God's not real. <laughs> Seriously, 
single man with stable jobs. Like, I didn't know how demanding this lifestyle was. Let me tell you, no one is more overwhelmed than just a guy. Working from nine to five. Who occasionally golfs on the weekends. <laughs> he's busy, his plate is full. I had one guy, uh, he said he couldn't uh, be in a relationship because he was busy from living in New England for 30 years. <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't know. So I did, you know, I went on Instagram to find out what the deal was, and he went to brunch with his mom a lot. It's like, okay, you're fucking your mom. <laughs> I don't know why I had to bring New England into it. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, he's fucking his mom. So, and I don't mean, I don't mean to like totally show men. Like I do, I think there's a lot of things you guys do that are great. Uh, one thing that you guys all do is like, I don't have an ass, right? Uh, but whenever I'm hooking up with you guys, you always act like I do. And I think that's really sweet. <laughs> it's like a soldier with phantom limbs. <laughs> Like you once fucked a girl with an ass, so now I can just go through the motions. <laughs> okay. Another another really sweet thing that you guys do is you know that like awkward first time like you, you're hooking up and you have to tell them you have your period, it's like super uncomfortable. Some of you turn into just the nicest school nurse. <laughs> you're just like that's that's totally natural. <laughs> it's not gross. <laughs> Do you want to, let's just lie down, let's lie down. <laughs> Maybe can I get you a snack? <laughs> Some of you are down for it, you're like, whatever, let's go. I'm like, okay. And I do, I like, I like having sex in my period for, for one uh, reason. Yeah. It's the only time that I get to be the one to say, hold on babe, let me get you a towel. <laughs> I went to Catholic school, so anyone else? always afraid of getting pregnant and I get that's kind of normal for a high schooler. Um, the weird thing was I wasn't having any sex. <laughs> but like y'all know Mary? <laughs> yeah. So like her whole deal was that she never singed, right? And as a reward she got to be on the first season of Teen Mom. <laughs> I feel like I just got smited. <laughs> Didn't want to get pregnant. <laughs> Thank you guys so 